Good morning everyone, it is 10 a.m. and it is time for GSC at Home, your daily slice of science from the lovely people at Glasgow Science Centre. And today I had a look outside the window, I saw how lovely and sunny it was and I thought, you know what, it's definitely ice cream weather out there. But instead of going to the shops, I thought we could make our own ice cream at home. Our own cool, delicious ice cream. So I'm going to take a few ingredients and about five minutes of your time to make it all together. And once you do that, once you know the basics, you can add whatever creative and lovely flavors or toppings that you want to add to your ice cream as well. So for this, we're going to need a few things. I've got them all laid out here for you to have a look at. You're going to need 250 milliliters of cream, 250 milliliters of milk, preferably whole milk, because any other milk is going to start making ice crystals in this. If you're vegan, however, your best option is coconut milk. Coconut milk is thick and it's creamy. You might still get some ice crystals in there when it starts to freeze, but it's easily the best milk to be making it out of for that. As well as that, we are going to need some sugar. We are going to need some salt. We're going to need some ice. We're going to need two Ziploc bags, one bigger than the other. We're going to need some flavorings. I've got vanilla and chocolate chips, but you can Use whatever you like to flavour it. You're going to need a bowl and you're going to need a jug as well. I'd also recommend that you get a towel too so that you can keep your hands nice and warm. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by making it. So I've measured these things out already. So I've got my 250 milliliters of milk right here. So I'm just going to pour that into my measuring jug. If you've measured it out though, you can just pour it straight into your Ziploc bag if you like. Then we're also going to add the milk as well. So we've got a whole lot of milk and we've got a whole lot of cream. After this, we are going to add the sugar, around about 50 to 100 grams of sugar. Get that added and then grab your spoon. If you put it right in the Ziploc bag, all you're gonna to need to do is give that bag a bit of a shake up. But if you put it in a measuring jug first, then what you're gonna do is you are going to give it a nice little stir. You want the milk and cream to dissolve all of that sugar that sugar is also going to help in the ice cream making process. Now, once you've given this enough of a stir that's pretty much dissolved, well, what we're going to do is we're going to add our cream to the Ziploc bag. Now, be very careful with this because you don't want it to spill. Uh, with our Ziploc bag. You probably want to do this over the bowl as well to make sure that you're not spilling anything or making a mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our Ziploc bag up and we're going to pour our mixture in, our ice cream mixture. There we go. Just give it a nice pour into the bag right over the bowl to make sure you've not got any mess. If you've used the Ziploc bag already, then you're already in a good position. Now at this point, you want to add your flavorings as well. So I'm going to add some vanilla extract. And when it comes to your chocolate chips, you can either add them into the mix just now. There we go, there's some nice vanilla extract right there. Or you can add them in later. I think that I'm going to add some chocolate chips in just now. So there we go. Going to get our chocolate chips into the mix too. And then what you're going to do is you're going to seal up your bag. Once you've sealed up your bag, Give a little shake and a mix around to make sure that it's all nice and mixed. And then you can pop your mixture into the bowl. Because now we're gonna make our ice cream machine. And to make our ice cream machine, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need our bigger Ziploc bag that we are going to open up. And then you're gonna put some ice in there. Put some ice in your Ziploc bag to start us off. Go. got some ice in there and then after that you're going to add the salt now preferably you'd want to use rock salt but any salt will do just generously add that salt now you're probably wondering why CJ are you adding salt to the ice well for that we're going to have to go to the science bit you're thinking but CJ if we add salt to our ice isn't that just going to make our ice melt how could that possibly help us make some ice cream but the thing is, it actually does help out quite a lot because when you add salt to our ice, you're actually starting something that we call an endothermic reaction. And an endothermic reaction is a chemical reaction that absorbs heat 
from the environment around it. When you add salt to the ice, it actually lowers the freezing point of the ice. Thus, the ice needs more energy to try and melt, so it starts absorbing more and more energy from the environment to do that, thus cooling the ice down and cooling down everything around it, taking heat away from it. Another way to think about it is if you add some ice to a drink, you're not adding more cold to that drink when you put ice in. What's actually happening is the ice is starting to absorb and take all the heat away from that drink. So you're not adding cold, but you're taking away heat. And that right there has been our science bit. Let's get back to making some of that ice cream though. So now that you know why we're adding our salt to our ice, gonna do is just add a little bit more. Then you're gonna make sure that your ice cream bag is nice and closed, like this, and you're gonna pop it in with your ice right there. That salt's gonna start doing its thing. It's gonna start bringing the temperature down inside there. Another thing that you might want to do to make sure you avoid disaster, because you don't want that bag to pop, is to take out as much air as you can from your ice cream bag. Take out as much air as possible, and that'll limit the chance of it bursting inside the bigger bag. So once you do that, you'll want to throw some more ice on top of there as well. Make sure that's nice and icy. And then you're going to throw some more salt on there. You want to make sure that it's nice and salty. You want all that salt to react with that ice. Then what you're going to do is take all of the air out of the bag as much as you can at least. Get as much air out of the bag as you can. And now you've got your Ziploc bag with your ice cream and your ice in it. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to start shaking it up. Now you're going to need about five minutes to shake it up. So I recommend that you get a towel because this right now is going to go down to temperatures of around minus 10 degrees and that's very, very cold. You don't want to be touching that with your bare hands. And now all you've got to do is you just got to shake it for around about five minutes. So let's start shaking. So once you've given it about five minutes of shaking, the ice in your bag should have turned to a liquid now. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take your ice cream bag out of your ice bag, out of your ice cream machine, maybe just to cap it into another bowl. And then what you're going to do is we're going to have a look at our ice cream. I'm just going to pop this to the side. We're going to have a look at our ice cream. So you will mix it up and now when you have a look inside you'll see some lovely nice soft ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. Vanilla. Now you can just eat this out of the bag or you can maybe just add it to a bowl as well. Mmm. So there we have it, with some things that you'll find lying around the house in five minutes shaking time, you can make your own delicious and lovely ice cream at home. And you don't have to use vanilla, you don't have to use chocolate chips, you can use whatever flavorings and toppings you like. You wanna put some gummy bears on there, you wanna put some other chocolate sweets on there, on you go. You go the basics, you can make whatever you like now. Anyway, I've been CJ, thank you so much for tuning in to GSC at home. We're gonna see you at 10 a.m. again for some more science. Thank you very much.